this is a very simple slide to show off a couple of the features uh, related to locking an image. If I push down on the image and try to move it, it's impossible because it's actually been locked. Um, I can, however, move all the text boxes because they have not been locked. So these are all text boxes that are actually on the same layer as the picture. This down here, just for fun, is a little annotation that I drew. It's actually on the top layer and it sits above the letters on the text boxes. Now, it's very easy to lock an image. Um, I just want to show you how to unlock an image because once you have an object locked, you cannot unlock it by right clicking. So what we're going to do is go to the property browser of this slide. I'm sorry, we're going to go to the object browser, I apologize. And what you are going to do is you are going to see that there is a top layer and there are two pen markings right here, which are actually this yellow uh, squiggly right here. The middle layer is actually made up of three text boxes, water, wave, and board, followed by an image called surf. Now, if I click on that image, you can see that it is locked right here. And you can also see these little pickup boxes in order to change the size of the object appear. So this is where I would come to edit an image that has actually been locked. And it's been locked, so it's actually not going to let me do it. So in order to unlock the image, I'm going to click that, um, click this menu, and I can scroll down here to the where it says locked and actually unselect it. Now will you will notice that besides the surf image, there is no padlock, which means that now I can move the image around. In this particular uh, example, there are there is no bottom layer or no background. So again, to recap, if I want to lock the image, I can actually control click or barrel button click on the image to lock the image, and you will see the lock come here and then in order to unlock it I need to go to the object browser unlock 